Hi there quilty friends, this is Jillian from This Mountain Life and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to experiment with using liquid washable glue to baste quilt blocks in place of using pins. Now this may sound a little unconventional, but I've heard so many of you quilters raving about it, so I decided to give it a try myself. We're gonna make half square triangles today and I'll be using the glue to glue down a piece of solid fabric to this strip set. This is part of the Shining Rock quilt pattern that uh, I will be releasing soon. And so I wanted to demonstrate how you maybe could use glue with these blocks. This is uh, from Joanne. It happened to be the one I could find and make sure you use washable glue that is important here. Now, before we get started, let's just experiment with how much glue we actually want to apply. I think less is going to be better than more. So I'm just trying to open the tip. Okay, we're gonna have to do a little bit more. Here we go. We're getting just a small bead of glue and I think that is what we want. So to make these half square triangles, we need to be able to add this glue in a diagonal across the block. So I've just lined up the ruler with where I know I want to be able to stick down that solid piece of fabric. And I'm just gonna add the glue right alongside the edge of the ruler. Okay, here's our piece of fabric. I've already marked my stitching lines on this fabric. I have used a heat erasable, a pen that I like to use with my uh, fabric quite a bit. It goes on nice and easy, comes off easily with an iron. And I'm just gonna press down over that diagonal line uh, where I placed the glue and kind of straighten this fabric out as I go as well to make sure that these are aligned just how we want them to be. We need to apply glue to the opposite diagonal as well before we start sewing these pieces. So I'm just going to freehand uh, going in the other direction. And if you've spent any amount of time with me uh, on social media, you probably know that freehanding is not my strong suit, but we're just going to um, eyeball this as best as I can and trying to get a consistently thin uh, line of glue as well. And as before, I'll just uh, smooth this out from the center, working outwards to avoid any wrinkles or puckers. The last step before going to the sewing machine is to set this glue with the iron. And I'm realizing as I'm doing this that my heat erasable uh, lines are of course going to disappear when I use the iron. So there's a good lesson for next time use a pen that is not uh, heat erasable. That's okay, I will remark those lines. All right, I have sewn our four seams and I'm just gonna speed through this video where I am cutting the blocks apart. I can report that I didn't notice any issues or differences sewing or cutting the areas that had been glued. You can see it's all but disappeared and we are able just to move forward. These are eight at a time half square triangles, so I'm cutting this original block into its eight individual pieces, and here we have our half square triangle. Before we can use this in a block, of course, we're gonna wanna press and trim. Now, some folks prefer to press these seams open, some to the side. I usually do it to the side and that's a good thing because these uh, seam allowances are glued together. You absolutely could not uh, press this open um, if you even wanted to. So there's another important lesson. You're gonna have to press this seam to a side if you have glued it down. I'm gonna open this up. Ah, okay. So the glue is sticking the fabric together. This is where uh, maybe my glue was not perfectly placed along that diagonal. It's a little bit to the side and it is uh, gluing the fabric together. Uh, it does release and it, it doesn't appear to have uh, left any residue. So I don't think we have any long-term issues, um, but here is the outcome of not getting that glue in just the exact right spot. 
To finish our shining rock quilt block, we're gonna sew these four half square triangles together. So let's go ahead and use our glue to align these pieces. We do want our points to line up if possible. We know that practice is more important than perfection, but if we can get a nice point, that's obviously ideal. So I'm just gonna run a small bead of glue right along the edge. I do want it to get really on the very edge of this fabric to avoid excess glue like we just had. And then I'm aligning the second block right on top of it so that we can get those lined up the way that we want them. And I will repeat that with the second set of blocks to speed up the camera for you here aligning those edges as before, and I will sew both of these seams. Okay, here they are, looking good so far. I've pressed to the side again because those edges are glued down. Now here's where I think the glue is gonna be particularly helpful. I would like these points right here in the middle of our block to align. So I'm just gonna do a couple dots of glue there in the middle and then on each outer edge as well. And because I'm using the glue, I'm not gonna use any pins on those points. We'll just flip this over and I'll just use my fingers to nestle these seams up against each other. Because we've pressed to the side, those seams are gonna nest pretty nicely. So we shouldn't have a lot of issues getting those points to align. Same thing on the corners, just lining them up pressing the glue together with my fingers so that we get a nice hold. We're back from the sewing machine. Let's take a look at this point. Hey, that looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. But I have to say, I think I get a pretty nice point just from nesting my seams. So would I deal with the glue basting again? Maybe not. Thanks for watching my experiment with glue basting. Like and subscribe for more quilty videos.